Hi Haley, yeah, there's two ways you can do this. You can make a copy of the full screen slider library file, so just copy, paste, and then rename it to something like, you know, 2, right, full screen slider 2, right, and in your page, you're, you, you can use the index page, copy and paste it over and over again, so let's say in the copy of your pages, when you open that up, all you need to do is just change the, uh, remove the existing slider, okay, so I'm just going to scroll down and find it, which is right about here, where it says begin library item full screen slider. I'm just going to, where it says that, I'm going to find the MM live, item, MM live item down here. I'm just going to delete it, hit enter on the keyboard a couple of times, and then move the cursor up into the blank space. Go to my uh, assets panel, and that you can open up by window assets as well. I'm going to go to the library. And I'm going to go and find full screen slider two and hit insert. And that's it. That's you. You can, you can do that with any page. You can insert a, a library asset into any page. And that's a good troubleshooting thing to know because if it ever stops updating, you can just yank it out and then put it right back in the page. And that often fixes any disconnects between the uh, Dreamweaver assets. Uh, the other thing you can do as well is in the design view, you can actually just find the asset and then just uh, um, uh, detach it as well. But I think it's better to stick with the um, inserting method. Like you can find any asset and you can go detach from original. Um, and the other way you can do that is actually in the code view where it says... Uh, begin library item you can actually remove that line at the end and then up here you can go to the beginning of your oops that was the wrong one um, so you can find your slider in here in your page right you go down to the bottom and right here where it says end library item this gets a little bit more complicated you can just remove the end library item you can go up to the top and uh, where it says begin library item full screen slider right here you can get rid of that first line and then it's no longer a library item it's just regular code that you can change the images of in your page just like that as well.